Pisces, welcome. That's your heart spread read for mid-January 2022. Love, romance, and relationship reading for you. Shown here is the Queen of Pentacles in this eight-card reading. And your person, the one that's on your mind, the one that's in your heart. Shown here is the Page of Swords, guys. So, bottom of the deck with this reading. I think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, too, in general is the five of swords so there's some kind of a fight i'm just going to keep it simple in this relationship some kind of an argument it may have taken you by surprise because you're coming in with the queen of pentacles so this you're reading a mature pisces and older pisces at least past first out of return when i say older i don't mean ancient like me uh, but someone who has maturity about them and is capable of taking care of themselves someone who knows their worth you know um and what the reason I say it like that because you're with the Page of Swords. There's got to be somebody that's uh, younger than you that uh, might not be as substantial as you in some way, um, and um, that could be a factor. Um, it could be an air sign too. I mean, it could be the Gemini or Libra, or Aquarius personality. You're dealing with Pisces here, and again, think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, uh, uh, whatever's significant for them. Um, and so they may be kind of looking up to you. I think you're a bit overwhelming. You have the sun energy. I, it, it makes me sad. I, I you know, I, I, there's a relationship that fits this to me. Um, and what I get out of this, like, it, they just are the, they're the sun, the sun rises and sets for them, for you. Um, and this is probably a big deal. I mean, I don't think you go around being the queen of pinnacles would not be someone who goes around having this kind of feeling for someone uh, um, often. So probably it's very special. Um, and they're reacting to you. Now their energy towards you is the Nine of Swords. I mean, it couldn't be any different. So um, they're isolating. They might have uh, withdrawn from you. Either just you can tell they've withdrawn the swords in both cases. Probably communication. This could be a classic case, someone ghosting you. You know, Pisces is that sign of ghosting. The 12th house, Neptune, very prominent for me, Neptune. Pisces, my seventh house, Neptune in the third conjunct Venus. So um, I know what this is like, but uh, it's often this protective energy. And really with their advice being the hanged man, my opinion is this is their advice from spirit now for how to best deal with this relationship is they need to take time out and they need to think about things you know but definitely from a different perspective but it's sort of not your problem and the advice from spirit for you being the moon and coming under the sun is there's something you're not seeing emotionally here um and that's usually when we don't see something this moon energy you know, it's something in ourselves that uh, oftentimes, you know, if you just ask a friend to explain the situation, just say, like, what am I not getting here about this situation? They they probably go right to it. Um, but with the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole, being the seven of wands is the uh, righteous defense of the castle. And also being that this is advice from spirit, they're always going to advise you to do something you could say righteous. You know, they're not going to advise you to ever advise you to do wrong. My cosmology. So it's almost like don't even worry about what you don't see. I'm going to do a second reading. Hang with me. I know this isn't great. I got an already a deck shovels as I saw the reading. This is the way it's been. Oh, the reading's been hell this week. I think it's that Venus Pluto conjunction and Venus retrograde. So. Um, you're not alone, I'm sure, with this. Um, yeah, but it's basically just put up boundaries and uh, defense about it. And the outcome of the relationship is isolation. So it would probably mean you're being feeling isolation, they're feeling isolation. And this comes after a five of, uh, as the overall energy. I think there's a pretty heated argument that came. At some point, again, I get the feeling like it might kind of might have taken you by surprise. You might be like, I, I just don't understand uh, what's going on. Now, you're Pisces, so I think you stop and think about this moon energy. It's Pisces energy. Um, you know, you could figure it out intuitively. Um, so you may begin to have an idea. 
well, they may also be presenting it. You know, I had a Virgo girlfriend. It's like this, uh, you know, if you ever even just said, how do you feel about something? It was a lost cause. But I learned to say, what do you think about it? And then they could articulate. So they may have been speaking to you anything but feelings, anything but feelings. But everything is about feelings with them. This is all about feeling, maybe not being able to deal with them, triggers from the past, um, uh, you know, um, relationships that, you know, weren't resolved. So let's see what we get. My God, this is your energy in and around love and relationships. Seven of Swords, you're moving away. This is what's blocking you. This could be, you could see the uh, Empress reversed. So um, you came in as a Queen of Pentacles, and I think this uh, energy could take you down a little bit with the uh, the Empress here being uh, reversed. So um, you just have to, kind of what I'm saying, you're going to have to move on and just put up these defenses and move on with your life from this situation. And this is your advice from Spirit, which that's the shine. If you have any Aries energy in your chart, uh, here you go, uh, King of Wands. Um and that in this little four card draw now, like this one, the seven of wands, this to me is the most important energy in this four cards reading. Is this the advice from spirit? So you're moving away. You're you're gonna have to get back in touch with your Queen of Pentacles, with your Empress. You know, you could say Queen of Pentacles, you might one day it would be the one in line to be the Empress. So you know, this is in reverse, kind of just uh, to really demonstrate, you know, how you this has kind of detached you from, you know, your worth and what you are. And this is definitely getting it back, getting back your confidence, getting back your energy. Um, it's really strongly releasing from this. And now I think it's beautiful coming with the nine of um, wands as an outcome. So you're going to be putting a lot of energy into moving away from this. This is a lot better energy, uh, Nine of Wands and the uh, King of Wands. So it's going to have to be about you, Pisces, and not about them. This is not being any kind of martyr. This is um, really focusing on yourself, focusing on getting your... You're just a wounded warrior. But the wounded warrior knows that they're down for a minute, and they're going to get back up, you know. So it's all about what you learn from the experience here. And I think like this was a younger person. They weren't as substantial as you. I I get mental illness involved, mental illness. So, you know, I got Pisces in the seventh house, you know. It, you really got to think hard if you draw in, I don't want to say weak partners. It sounds so mean, but, you know, you have to really ask yourself, I mean, do you want mental illness in your love life? I mean, it's going to be a big deal you know, no matter how you shake it. So, you know, once you're committed to someone, it happens, you can deal with it, but, or do you want to walk into that, you know, that's uh, um, the hard road to hoe, so thank you guys, I hope that's helpful, do give me a like, if it's helpful, it helps get it out to other people here, with the algorithms, and the, if you haven't subscribed, please do, and hit that bell, always on Saturday is uh, Aquarius and Pisces Day, I'll leave me a comment, I'd absolutely love to hear what you had to say, this resonates. Thank you guys.